Hey guys, Dylan here. Welcome back to our in-depth series on operating the Red Epic Dragon. Today we'll be discussing everything you need to know about your histogram on the Red Epic Dragon. First off, what is a histogram? A histogram depicts a relative fraction of an image vertically that compromises each tone level horizontally. The further left represents deeper shadows, further right represents brighter highlights. Traditionally, whether in photo or video, histograms are used to show the distribution of tones captured and whether image detail has been lost to blown highlights or blacked out shadows. The red shows separate overlaid histograms for each of the color channels, red, green, and blue. All three histograms are useful for accessing clipping risk in those channels. But the green histogram can also give a rough approximation of overall image brightness. In general though, RGB histograms only truly represent brightness when all three histograms correspond. As specific regions of these histograms diverge, the more saturated and colorful those tones will often appear, and the less those regions of the histogram will represent brightness. Always trying to maintain a central histogram would be a big mistake. Take a look at this high key scene, for example. You can see the image is properly exposed, but the histogram is all the way to the right. Now here is an image with the correct exposure, but now you can see the histogram is all the way to the left. It's important to remember these two things. Histograms cannot be treated as the same as a digital light meter since they represent reflected light, not incident light. And number two, histograms alone don't indicate proper exposure, just how the on-screen preview will appear using the current ISO and look settings. The live histogram doesn't represent raw image data. You need to use a histogram in conjunction with the other tools RED provides to truly tell if an exposure is optimal. These tools are as follows. One, goalposts, shown here in the image. The height of each goalpost represents a fraction of overall pixels that have either become clipped, shown on the right, or near the capabilities of the camera to discern real texture from noise, located on the left. In general, the left goalpost can be used to about 50% height and still have an acceptable noise. But even a small amount on the right goalpost can be unacceptable, all depending on your filming style. The second tool is called the traffic light. Sometimes a goalpost don't provide all the information you need. Red has placed indicators to show when a certain color channel is clipped red, green, and blue for each color channel. The indicator turns on when about 2% of the image pixels for that particular color channel have become clipped. Remember to use your histogram correctly and in conjunction with your goalposts and traffic lights. Also, don't forget the histogram does not represent raw image data. It can be affected by Kelvin, ISO, and any metadata adjustment. So there you have it. Now you fully understand everything that your histogram has to offer. Remember to use all the tools available to you when filming to ensure the best possible quality. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.